Good day, everyone, and welcome to a new and exciting course of science, technology, and society. I would like to welcome you in this semester in our online class. Are you excited to virtually meet me and your classmates? Well, if your answer is yes, thank you very much. It is our joy to, to meet you and discuss with you the correlation of science technology, and society. So before we start our lesson, let me share with you some of the course background and description. Let me share with you our course description. This interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary course engages students to confront the realities brought about by science, technology, in society. Such realities pervade the personal, the public, and the global aspect of our living and are integral to human development. Scientific knowledge and technological development happen in the context of society with sociopolitical, cultural, economic, and philosophical underpinning at play. This course seeks to instill reflective knowledge in the students that they are able to live the good life and display ethical decision-making in the face of technological advancement. The course also deals with interaction between science and technology and social, cultural, political, and economic contexts that shape them. These include mandatory topics on climate change and environmental awareness. There are six course intended learning outcomes. So first, we want you to explain how science, technology affects society and the environment and its role in nation building. Second, articulate the impacts of science and technology on Philippine society. Third, imbibe the importance of science and technology in the preservation of the environment and development of nation. Fourth, foster the value of healthy lifestyle toward holistic and sustainable development of society and the environment. Fifth, illustrate how social media and information era impact the lives of people. And finally, examine the good life and come up with innovative solution to contemporary issues guided by high ethical standards. For our course outline, the first three weeks will be allotted to discuss a topic on human history using the lens of science and technology. Week 1 will be allotted for synchronous, while week 2 and 3 for asynchronous mode of teaching. For weeks 4 and 5, we will be discussing intellectual revolution that shapes society. For weeks 7, 6, 7, and 8, we will focus on nation building using science and technology in the Philippine setting. And in week 9, we will be spending the week for midterm examination. After the midterm examination, for weeks 10 and 11, our topic will focus on biodiversity and genetically modified organism. For weeks 12 and 13, we will focus on gene therapy. Weeks 14 and 15 on nanotechnology. Week 16 and 17 on the impacts of climate change. And for weeks 18, we will be spending the week for final examination. Our discussion on STS will focus on the use of the textbook written by Mangali Biscocho Espinosa, 2019, Science, Technology and Society, Culture and Innovation. Additional reference as projected on the screen will also be used. For our class policies on methods, synchronous, asynchronous, and module will be our mode of teaching. For strategies in passing the course, we encourage you to read the syllabus and study in advance. Attend the synchronous meeting. Accomplish the synchronous performance task and asynchronous performance tests. Listen intently to online discussion. 
take notes while class discussion is ongoing. Ask question and follow the instruction for individual and group outputs. Always check the rubric if necessary. Be willing to think critically and rethink to further advance your perspective. And finally, always pray before and after our class discussion. For our grading system, 20% will be allotted for online written examination, 20% for performance task, 20% for e-portfolio, and 40% for the major examination. Still on class policies, grade dispute policies. Students have an allowance of 24 hours or one day or two days after the grade consultation. Please contact your professor about grade matters. Otherwise, all grades are undisputedly final. For extra credit opportunities, these are optional. I repeat, these are optional. You have opportunities to earn up to 30 extra points or 10% by doing one or both of the following. Number one, attend one online talk, lecture, or seminar related to STS and write a reaction, reflection, or review paper, which includes summary and insights, maximum of three pages, to be sent at glenn.mangali at letran.edu.ph. Number two, three-minute thesis for those graduating or in their thesis research stage or STS-related topics of interest for those not into thesis research yet on December 18, 2020. Note, only the first 20 volunteers will be accommodated for this opportunity. Directly contact your course facilitator as soon as possible if you intend to volunteer. This is equivalent to 15 points, or 5%. For the format per papers, should be submitted as Word file and, and print. Font style and size must be Times New Roman 12, 11.5 first line in first page. Write your name, example, Glenn Mangali. Second line, student number, example, 2020 and then the number, third line, course number and section, example, STS COM 1A, fourth line, type of assignment, example, reaction paper, spacing for the main text, align left, preceded by the title, center, of the paper, 1.5 or 2.0, spacing and format for references, single space and APA citation style both in reference list or bibliography and an in-text citation. Please include page numbers. Note, please include your surname in the file name of the digital versions of your papers. For example, Mangali underscore Glenn underscore STS reaction paper underscore what happened to Monday. Next on student conduct. All students must comply with the student conduct code, which can be found in your handbook. For our email etiquette, the syllabus, announcement, instructions, and additional relevant materials will be emailed by the professor to the students through your official Litran email or through email found in Google Classroom. When contacting your professor, email is the best option. Please use your provided email address for all communications. When communicating to your professor, expect me to respond to emails between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Monday through Friday with a 24-hour lag time. However, before sending your question through your email, ensure that the answers are not found in the course syllabus. Be specific about the subject of the email in the email subject heading and be polite. Academic honesty. 
Academic dishonesty will not be tolerated. I expect that all, I mean all Letronites, will be true and honest in their works and submissions. As a registered student in Colae de San Juan de Letran, Manila, I agreed to adhere to this commitment to academic honesty and understand that may failure to comply with this commitment may result in disciplinary action up to and including expulsion from the colegio. If you are caught plagiarizing or cheating on exams or assignments, you will receive an automatic zero and will be referred to OSAS for disciplinary action. So this is the introductory video about the course STS. So thank you for attending our first session and I hope to see you in the coming online session. Thank you very much and God bless you all.